As many people grow older, they often lose their sense of adventure. Yeah, not a couple of elderly folks here in the Treasure Valley, though. <laughs> They're about as adventurous today as they were, say, back in the 1940s. <laughs> Probably proving to us all that you're never too old to dream. Karen Lair has a story that's positively Idaho. 8.30 a.m. on a Tuesday morning is a rather unusual time for a champagne toast. Amen. Amen. But for Paul Thank Beaudry and Juanita Lesio, it's a call for celebration. You're going up in a hot air balloon? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Juanita and Paul both live at the cottage's assisted living. How old am I? God, I can't remember. <laughs> I think I'm 93. Dan, how old am I? 83. I'm 83. And part of the cottage's mission is to encourage residents they're never too old to dream, setting up adventurous activities for them to take on. I don't think I'm too old to do anything. On Tuesday's agenda, flying high in the sky above Boise in a hot air balloon. The group took off from the fairgrounds just after sunrise. What do you think of the view? Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And enjoy their hour-long flight above the city of trees. It's like you're in your own little world when you're up there. A first time for Juanita. I thought it was fantastic. You were pretty brave to go up there, weren't you? <laughs> well, yeah, I think so. But for Paul, it's just another day, thousands of feet above solid ground. <laughs> I've done a lot of flying. <laughs> it's no big deal. He used to be a former pilot. He actually learned how to fly before he could drive a car. After an impromptu landing on a neighborhood street, both say they hope to take flight again and soon. Would you do it again, Juanita? I kind of think I might, <laughs> just to look around. And remember. Never too old to dream, never. Karen Lair, today's six on your side. Never too old. It's a great story. Yeah.